Hey space people, welcome to the first tutorial video for Stellar Explorers 5. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Serena Gladson. I was a participant in Stellar Explorers for two years, and the second year I competed, my team was the national championship. I'm going to be a vir virtual mentor for all of you guys this season. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit of an introduction on creating goals with an engineering mindset. As the season progresses, I will be posting more videos with important information and tips on how to succeed in Stellar Explorers. So the first thing we're going to talk about are called SMART goals. SMART is an acronym which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, responsive, and time certain. Let's look at an example of this. This nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. President John F. Kennedy. I want you to pause the video here and think for a minute. What makes this statement specific, measurable, achievable, responsive, and time certain? In Stellar Explorers, you may not be able to create a single statement like this one that encompasses your goals so completely. But to succeed, you need to have a high level of organization to your thought. For this competition, creating SMART goals means a few things. Let's break the acronym down. Being specific is difficult when you have a complex problem to solve, such as the ones you will face in each round. Make sure you're working towards a goal, not just grasping in the dark. You also want to be able to measure the difference between your options point-wise. For example, in one round, you will be asked to create an orbit that satisfies a few parameters and collects or transmits data. How are you going to know if your inclination is better at a 30 degree or 60 degree angle, if you don't know what impact that has on your score? Next, you want to be sure your goals are achievable. Generally, each round is about 100 points and 20 of those points will come from a quiz. This isn't always going to be true, but it's important to keep in mind. I cannot stress enough how important it is to read the entire scenario book and carefully. This is encompassed by responsiveness. For example, the second round will have to do with selecting components for the satellite. You will be given a budget and weight restrictions to do this. It's important to understand the limitation of which components you can choose so that you don't go over budget or overweight. Finally, let's talk about time certainty. Your team only has six hours to submit a solution back to the program office in the practice and qualification rounds. You and your team should decide how you want to divide your time before qualification round one so that you get the best score. So that's all I have for today. I know that this topic seems a little not related to the competition itself, however, being able to organize your thoughts on this level will really benefit you in the long run in terms of succeeding in Stellar Explorers. So if you have any questions about the competition or elements of the competition, leave it in the comments and I'll answer it at the beginning of the next video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>